In this video, I'm going to tell you how much money I make narrating audiobooks for Amazon using their ACX service, their Audiobook Creation Exchange service, which allows authors who have books on Amazon to put those books up for auditions from narrators in order to create audiobooks that will then be sold on Audible or iTunes. Reason I'm putting up this video is because I see other videos out there from some people saying that reading books at home for Amazon is a profitable and fun and easy side hustle that can bring you hundreds of dollars per day. Well, there's probably somebody making those kind of rates, but I can tell you from my experience, that's not likely. Currently, I have eight books for sale on Audible, and they've been up there for a couple of years, and they don't sell particularly well. Most audiobooks do not have booming sales, but you might get fortunate and record a book that does sell really well, and if you're doing a royalty split deal on that book, well, maybe you'd do pretty well then also. Now, the books that I've recorded are royalty share, so that means that of the sale price of that audiobook, I get 20%. And of course, a lot of books are sold via a coupon deal or some promotion, so they don't sell for full retail price. And that, of course, cuts into the royalty slice that I get. But those eight books all together bring me in between 10 to $25 per month. Not a whole lot. Now, like I say, you might record books that are more popular than the ones that I've recorded and do better. Sometimes authors will also put up books in a pay per finished hour format where they pay the narrator outright for their work as soon as it's done, depending upon the length of the material. And so if they're willing to pay $100 per finished hour and the book ends up being a five hour long book, well, then the narrator gets a payment of $500 and that's the end of the deal for the narrator. They get that payment and that's it. You can also do a pay per finished hour plus a royalty split. So they get their upfront payment based upon the hours of finished material. And then going forward, they would also get a split of the royalties. Paper finished hour usually is between $50 to $400 per hour of finished work. With most books in the $50 to $150 range. Now, do keep in mind that that is per finished hour of completed, edited, ready-to-sell material. And it's going to take you more than an hour of labor in order to produce an hour of finished packaged product. In fact, for me, it takes me between one and a half to two hours of reading and editing to produce one hour of finished material. And I think that's doing pretty good, better than average. For a lot of narrators, I think it's more like three hours of work to produce one hour of finished product. And if you're not really very comfortable and familiar with audio editing, or you're having difficulty smoothly reading the, the copy, it might be five or six hours of work in order to create one hour of finished product. So let me tell you the truth about ACX. I enjoy reading audiobooks. I think it's kind of interesting, kind of fun, and it's not something that I expect to make a whole bunch of money from. And so with those parameters, it's not a bad deal. But there are some real negatives associated with ACX. Uh, some things that I'm pretty okay with, and some things that I think are a bit narrator unfriendly. So you should be aware of this if you're considering taking a stab at this as a side hustle. ACX has extremely stringent audio quality requirements. 
And so you're going to need a good microphone, a quiet space to record in, some software on the computer for recording audio and editing. And it's not a real high barrier to entry, but you do need to produce really high quality audio. Audio that is carefully level controlled, that has peaks of minus three dB, but not more. A noise floor greater than negative 60 dB, but not silent. And an average level that's within a pretty narrow window. Now, if you have amazing vocal control, maybe you can hit that naturally, but I don't think most people can. It's going to require a little bit of finesse and post-processing in your editor in order to reach those targets. And ACX, Amazon, does not want to hear any processing of your audio. So you can't have obviously processed audio or edits that are audible and pass their quality check. So you need to be able to produce really high quality output. And I'm okay with this. I understand this. When people are listening to your audiobook, they expect a good product. After you're done recording your material, you upload it to Amazon ACX and they do a quality check. The first part of the check is automatic where they run it through a computer processing system to see if the technical benchmarks are met for those levels. And if they're not met, they might throw the project back at you and you have to fix it or re-record it. That might be a lot of effort. And then they do a listening test to it where they spot check the openings, the closings, some of the content and make sure that it sounds good and that you're following their guidelines. So this process really shouldn't take a whole lot of time, but sometimes it does. And I've had projects that I've put up and they've passed their quality check within a week or two. Yeah, not, not too bad. But I've had some other projects which I've pushed up to ACX and it has taken months in order to get it through their quality checks. And that's frustrating because you do a lot of work and you'd like to see your material up on Audible. You'd like to start making a little bit of money off of it and waiting for many months for it to clear the process is aggravating. And ACX customer service is not always super responsive. And so when I've asked them, hey, what's the status of my book? It's been here for six months. Are we going to get this thing moved through? Is there a problem? I've never really gotten any responses that made me feel a whole lot better. So there's that. Now, that situation might be improved. Uh, hopefully they've uh, taken care of some of those issues so that they can process material faster. I don't know if that's the case, but back when I was recording audiobooks, that was really an issue. Another issue with ACX is that you have no control over the sale price of the book. Uh, neither does the author. It's loosely based upon the length of the material, but it's a little bit hard to predict what your income is going to be when you don't know what the sale price of the book is and you're getting a split off of that. And the contract is of course written in Amazon ECX's favor. They can drop you in a moment if they really feel the need. I don't have any real big issues with that, but it does feel a little bit like you're not in control of the situation. Another downside is that if a customer receives an audiobook and for whatever reason they decide that they aren't happy and they tell Amazon, I want my money back. Well, they get their money back. And the earnings that you've made from that sale get deducted from your account. So that's a little rough. If somebody returns a book, in the initial period anyway, that gets deducted from the author and the narrator. Now, the worst thing that makes me not excited about working with ACX is the rampant fraud on the system. Now, I'm not saying that Amazon ACX or Audible is engaged in fraud. No, 
not at all. I am saying that they're not doing much about it, however, and I think they could. Here's what happens. You can go on to ACX and say that you're an author or a publisher and that you'd like to have an audiobook created. And then you fill in some web forms and you can go pick your audiobook out of the collection of books that are on Amazon. It could be a paper book, could be an ebook, whatever. But any book on Amazon, you can go pick and say, I would like to have my book made into an audiobook. And so then that gets posted up on ACX looking for editions. Narrators will try to do an edition for you. You choose the narrator and you go through the book creation process. A narrator will put in a lot of effort, maybe a week, maybe two weeks of recording to produce that book for you. And if that book gets put up on the marketplace and sold through Audible, well, the narrator and the author get their 20% royalty split. But the thing is that anybody can claim any book. And so what happens is we have scam artists out there who will sign up as an author and go claim somebody else's book that they don't have the rights to. And they hope that they can slip this under the radar and get some poor narrator to narrate the thing and get the book up on sale and everybody starts collecting some royalties off of it except for the legitimate author of course usually what happens is that those things are found out pretty soon and amazon will then pull the book off the marketplace and of course the narrator gets no payment at that point and so you can find yourself working really hard on projects only to have them yanked out because now the project was fraudulent and it was offered up by somebody who didn't have the rights to that material. And this happens a lot. There are a lot of books on ACX which are being posted by people who do not have the rights to those books. It's a real problem. And as a narrator, when you're looking at a book that's being offered up for a narration contract, there's almost no way to know whether or not it's being presented by somebody who actually has the rights to that material or not. There's no way through Amazon ACX that you can validate the person who put that book up on ACX to see if they are the legitimate rights holder. Really, the only surefire thing you can do is you can look that book up on the open internet, do some Google searches, and try to chase down the actual author so you can get this guy on the phone and say, hey, I see you've got a book up that you'd like to find a narrator to read. And oftentimes the author will then be surprised and say, really? That's news to me. Now, if you grab a random book off of your bookshelf, how easy is it going to be for you to phone up the actual author of that book? Yeah, oftentimes it's not very easy to chase these people down. So that's a challenge. And of course, there are some red flags you can look for. Uh, for example, Authors usually care about their books. Their books are their babies. And so most authors are happy to discuss their book in detail. Most authors would put up a manuscript for an edition that it shows that they put a little effort and care into it. And so if a book is being presented and it doesn't look like they've put much effort into the presentation of that book, or if you send a message off to the person who put the book up on ACX and ask a couple questions about the book and you get a very short or 
mm, not very informative answers, well, that's a clue. But there's really very little defense as a narrator against these sorts of things. Now, what do I think Amazon could do? I think they could stop this real easily by only allowing the Amazon account that actually posted the physical book or the original ebook to move that book over to ACX in search of a narrator. I think if they just did not allow any old person to log into Amazon and grab a book and say, make it an audio book, they could reduce this incidence of fraud dramatically. And it's a real problem on ACX. It's been going on for a long time. And Amazon hasn't seemed to care enough to do much about it. And so that is the number one reason why I'm not really all that excited about recording audiobooks with ACX Amazon. Now, there are, might be some projects out there that look interesting and compelling to me. And if I can obtain a level of trust that the person who's putting it up is actually the legitimate rights holder, well, I might be compelled to do it. And if you look at books that are offered up in a pay-per-finished-hour format, those are much more likely to be presented by their legitimate rights holder. Because in that case, the person has to actually pay the narrator up front for their work. And most hmm, scam artists aren't too interested in putting any real money into the game up front. Now, the downside of those pay-per-finished-hour books is that they are a relatively small percentage of the books that are available for narration up on ACX. And so you dramatically cut down your pool of potential work by just looking at those. They also tend to attract the more experienced professional narrators. And so the competition is tough on ACX no matter what you do, and it's really tough when you get into the $100 per hour or greater category. So your chance of getting one of those jobs is a little bit lower. So those are my reservations about ACX Amazon. If you enjoy reading audiobooks and you don't expect to make tons of money, it's probably a good place to uh, hone your skills. But don't underestimate the amount of effort and work it takes to do a good job recording an audiobook. It's a lot more difficult than just reading for yourself or maybe reading to your kids. Because you need to read that material in a compelling sort of way that fits that book. And you need to record it to a very high standard of quality. And there's a bunch of parameters as to exactly how you record it and what intros and outros you need and so forth. And of course, a bunch of technical parameters as to where your recording levels have to be. But if that isn't an obstacle for you and you don't mind spending the time, it could be an interesting and fun side hustle. And if you build up a large library of audiobook recordings, well, maybe it could be actually a reasonable side income. But like I mentioned earlier, from my experience with eight books under my belt, I'm only bringing in 10 to $20 a month. I think my biggest month was about $40. Now, of course, your mileage may vary. You might record books that sell better than my books. Entirely possible. But I wouldn't be expecting to have an easy, fun side hustle that's going to bring you hundreds of dollars per day. In order to do that, you're going to need to spend an awful lot of time building up an extensive library of audiobooks, and it's going to be a significant amount of effort to have those kind of returns. So, as they say, if something sounds too good to be true, well, it just might be. I hope that was interesting for you. And if you're interested in pursuing reading audiobooks for ACX, well, maybe it was a bit of an eye-opener so you know what you're getting into. 
Of course, there are other platforms like Find Away Voices and, and the like, which are similar. They have different contractual deals. I haven't worked with them, so I can't speak to them authoritatively. But that might be worth pursuing as well if you're interested in doing narration work. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'd appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to catch you again on another upcoming episode.